West Hall at the University of North Texas. And today I decided I'm gonna give you guys a hall tour so that way you can kind of see everything that West Hall has to offer without actually having to come to the residence hall um, during the COVID crisis and trying to schedule a tour. So um, please go ahead and uh, like and subscribe to this video if you wanna see more content from me, but let's just jump into it. standing in front of the front desk at West Hall. Um, because this is a freshman residence hall, this front desk is gonna be manned 24 hours, seven days a week. So if you ever lock yourself out of your room, or let's say you forget your ID card so you can't swipe in, your front desk is gonna be manned right behind me and they'll be able to see you and they can let you in. Um, this is also gonna be where you're going to be checking out equipment if you wanted to use any of the gaming stations that we have available to you. And overall, your front desk is gonna be a very good resource for you as a freshman student. So it wouldn't hurt to take the time to get to know your front desk staff. So this area of West is going to kind of function like your main seating area. We have tables right along here, um, just if you want to meet up with a friend or sit down to study. Or we also have lounge seating over here. This space is actually pretty large. Uh, so you have a lot of available space to be able to sit down and hang out in the common area. And West Hall is known for being a very uh, community-oriented residence hall. So you'll have no issue uh, finding someone to talk to if you come out here to hang out. This area is going to function as kind of your main seating area slash entertainment area. So we have a pool table here. We actually have two pool tables. And like I was saying before, if you wanted to check out equipment from the front desk, you can do so um, or to use these pool tables. And back here we have a TV. Um, you can hook up cable, you know, Netflix, Hulu, those sorts of things. You can even hook up a gaming station to it. And I've seen multiple times students in West Hall who will gather together and they'll play games together, Smash Bros tournaments, all that extra stuff. So West Hall is a pretty active hall and you're always going to be able to find something to do when you come here. and over here is going to be a double stack line of dryers. Everything in here is coinless. That means that you don't have to pay to do your own laundry. You don't have to scrounge around on the ground in between couch cushions for quarters. You just buy your own laundry detergent, dryer sheets, everything like that, and you can come here and wash your clothes. And that's going to be the case for every single one of our residence halls here at UNT. Uh, you are not responsible for paying for your laundry. That's already covered for you. Here at West Hall, the laundry room is going to be centralized, meaning it's the only laundry room here that all of our students share. So that includes the girls on the north side and the boys on the south side. And that's going to be about 300 to 400 residents all trying to use this laundry room. So my recommendation is don't do your laundry uh, the night before school on a Friday night or the Sunday before school. Do it on Tuesday at 4 a.m. No one's doing their laundry then. <laughs> either from after eating and they'll sit here to hang out. They might bring food out here and choose to eat outside instead. Uh, this area is especially great during the fall when things have cooled down because you know that Texas heat got you girl right now. Um, <laughs> but during the fall, it's usually a lot more comfortable to sit out here, even to sit out here and study. And as long as you have your ID card, you'll be able to swipe back into the residence hall. <laughs> So right behind me is Kitchen West, and this is going to be a dining hall that's inside of your residence hall. Um, I always like to point that out because I think it's very convenient for students to be able to go eat in a dining hall exactly where they live, so you don't have to leave your room if you want to go get food or anything like that. Now, Kitchen West has actually been newly uh, renovated, so now it is allergen free. For those of our students who um, have more specific needs when it comes to food, UNT, we do our best to accommodate all types of students' diets. despite us separating the boys and the girls into two different wings. Now that does mean that after a certain time, guys, you need to get out of here. <laughs> so this is going to be the community kitchen here at West Hall. Once again, guys, you are able to come over to the girls' side in order to use the kitchen, but this kitchen is going to be fully stocked with kind of everything you would ever need to cook anything. So it's got two microwaves, 
Um, I can't count three microwaves. <laughs> That's why I'm an English major, not a math major. <laughs> um, you have a waffle maker, there's blenders, there's pots, pans, whisks, utensils, a stovetop oven, and a fridge right over here. So everything here you're able to use, all that we ask is that you treat the things like, uh, you treat all the things that we have here like they're your own. Um, so just wash your own dishes and basically just be an adult <laughs> is basically what we ask for. And if you are going to keep things in the fridge, we also ask that you put your name on your food because if there's no name, it's fair game. So the room that I'm standing in right now is going to be our 24 hour study area. This is also going to be on the girls side um, and again guys you're more than welcome to come over here to use this uh, study area and it's very convenient to have a study area inside of your residence hall because a lot of times you just want to get out of your room to study, you don't want to study inside your room but you also might not want to walk all the way over to Willis Library to get a study room. So I find study areas like this to be incredibly convenient, especially for freshman students, where, remember guys, we're here to study and get A's and not goof off. I know you guys think you're never going to need to use these janky computers, but there's always going to be an instance at least some point in your time here where you're going to need to turn in an assignment and it's 11.57 and it needs to be turned in at 11.59 and for whatever reason your phone, your laptop, your iPad has been wonky, janky, doesn't want to do what it wants to do and you're going to be panicking and then you're going to think, huh? Well, you know what, Alora made this really great video about how there was a computer lab that was always gonna work and be available to me inside my residence hall. Gee golly, I should probably use that so I don't turn in this assignment late. And I'm gonna say, you're welcome. West Hall is gonna have community style restrooms. So as you can see, there's a key code and girls are gonna enter their code and that's how you're gonna be able to get into the restroom. And it is gonna be community style, so bring shower shoes. Those sorts of things. The main things that we prohibit 
are anything with an open heat element, so that would include those portable stove tops or a toaster, just because if you were to drop something on top of it or if you were to touch it and you're able to burn yourself, um, that would be prohibited and it's technically a fire hazard. Unfortunately, as cute as they may be, you can't have LED lights or those string lights that you put like, you know, like on the bottom of the floor like on the top of the ceiling. You're not allowed to have those. <laughs> Um, if you want to have lights, like fairy lights, you can have them, but they have to be battery operated. And as far as making holes in the wall, a lot of the walls in our residence halls are actually cinder blocks. So if you manage to make a hole in there, let me know, because I would actually be very impressed. <laughs> but more or less, it's not that you aren't allowed to make holes in the wall, it's just that if you do, you are responsible for filling that hole um, before you move out at the end of the year. And usually we ask you guys to do that around finals week, and what student is wanting to fill cock up holes during finals week. We got better things to worry about. So I usually recommend things like command strips or tacks, because as long as it's the size of the tack, you're good to go, you're fine. So for your closet that you're going to get at West Hall, if you live in a double occupancy, you and your roommate are each gonna have a closet this size. And if you're in a triple occupancy, it'll just be three closets here of this size. Now, I will say this closet, while it's not the smallest closet I've ever seen, you're not going to be able to pack every single item, like article of clothes that you have. You can't bring summer, fall, and winter clothes, all 90 pairs of your shoes. You can't do that, so you're going to have to learn how to be a minimalist <laughs> if you're going to live here. I always recommend getting space-saving hangers because, um, and I will never tell my father this, but he was definitely right. They do, in fact, save more space than the plastic ones, but I'm never going to say that to his face. <laughs> Well guys, that concludes our West Hall tour. I hope I was able to give you guys um, a good amount of information so that way uh, you know what you're looking forward to whenever you come and move into this residence hall. Uh, if you have any other questions or comments or things I didn't mention or things you want me to talk about that I didn't mention in my video, I'm more than happy to talk about it in the comments section if I miss something. If you want to see another residence hall, I'm more than happy to go and tour another residence hall. I have access to all of them. Um, but if you like what you saw, please like and subscribe down below so that way you can see more videos. Tell me what you want to see and I'll see you guys next time.